Okay. And that was actually right on cue as well, what do you know. Anyway, welcome back to some more... Um, what is it again? Pioneer Scout Plus. An open source and free uh, space exploration game and combat game, trading game, etc, etc. Similar to Freelancer and the Elite series of games. So, there you go, continuing onwards from an existing adventure in the independent systems. So hopefully we won't have to make that introduction again. Okay, there we go. So, let us get back into it. Unfortunately, we've lost our one CS. Oh, well, such a shame. If he just stayed for a few more minutes, I'm sure he would have liked um, what he saw. But, oh, well, what can you do? We've got good, some pretty good music happening here. Um, it's actually from Homeworld 2. So, oh, fucking paused, really. Uh, is that it? Hang on a sec. There we go. Anyway, it's from Homeworld 2. I do not claim ownership or anything like that. It's just that um, the in-game music is really shit. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I've gone with it, basically. Anyway, so we've got the uh, Eagle LRF uh, long-range fighter here. Apparently got some ship on the radar. Yep, ship detected nearby. And, uh, yeah, I can't remember where exactly we are. I know we're somewhere in the independent systems. So that's where we are. Uh, if we just get rid of the label of the uninhabited systems. It's, um... The fuck? Okay. The fuck is that? Oh, okay. Those noises are coming from the music that I'm playing. So yeah, from Homeworld 2, claimed ownership. You know the drill. In any case, um... Just a label of the uninhabited systems. Yeah, in the, uh, it looks like in the independent zone, we have a hell of a lot more systems that are uninhabited. We'll disregard them for the time being. If we zoom out, so that's independent. There's the uh, Soul Federation, I believe. We are here. And yeah, there's the Confederation. Empire is around there as well. So yeah, we're definitely um, on the outskirts, well, outside of the Federation, and uh, certainly outside of what you could probably consider civilized space, to say the least. So there you go, quite a few star systems to traipse around in, indeed. So there you go, let's just. Um, that draw vertical lines. Uh, huh. All right. Well, guess we can try to take some missions, deliver some stuff, blow up stuff. It's all good. Oh, Jesus. Well, there you go. Good old randomly generated faces. God. Anyway, um, don't have to worry about the uh, police. It seems. What? The? <laughs> really? Is this, is this meant to be the police uniform? I mean, really? This constable wearing this. Outstanding. Simply outstanding. Alright, what, uh, what else do we have? So we got um, hyperdrive and all that, we've got the cargo s space there. Okay, we don't have any ships available unfortunately. But we're loaded with hydrogen, we should be able to jump pretty much anywhere. Alright, it's perfect. So, let's see, recon in somewhere for 10,000. What is our range actually? So 29.87 light years. This is 67, and we've got 67.3 max. Perfect. Well, what the hell? Let's actually do a bit of recon. Just for the hell of it. Explore some unknown system, get loads of money. Why not? Actually, what else do we have? Servicing, more recon. Yeah, those portraits are kind of hilarious. God, you got to love cheap, randomly generated stuff, eh? <laughs> anyway. So this one's actually costing quite a bit, actually, compared to this one. Interesting. It's probably going to be a bit of a dangerous mission. Sounds good to me. And we can donate. We need pro and there's also opportunities to provide passage, but we don't have extra crew space. So I think they give us the dollar amounts there, but oh well, fuck it. So there we go. Crew for hire. I don't think we need to worry about that. So whatever. Let's just do this recon for ten thousand. Keep the system tidy. All right. Why so much money? Spare no effort to the common good. And again, good old randomly generated portraits. Actually, hang on a sec. What did it say at the beginning? Offer for a scan. Okay, never mind. What is the risk? Ship has disappeared. Ah, here we go. Pirate activity. Perfect. Sounds good to me. Can we accept it? Thank God. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of there. What system was that again? Shit. We should have been paying attention. These other ones already failed, so I'm bothered about them. But this is one we need to go to. We need to go to a 
Carse. Oh, unfortunately, there goes Date Gaming. Oh well. Anyway, we have to go to Akarse C in the Akarse system. So that's C K and then a C there. Okay. Akarse. What a fucking name's that? And there's our ship right. Yeah, I don't know if I actually show. Actually, I must have shown that initially. There you go. Looking pretty dandy indeed. Ah, well, let's get out of there. Perfect to the Akarse system. Probably going to take us closer to civilization, but whatever. Car set. Perfect. Hyperspace target. Uh, what the fuck did it just do with the hyperspace target? Fucking. Alright, let's. Uh, I think I better get this thing into orbit then. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Because yeah, this thing's just going to fall to the planet, and that's not going to be too good at all, to say the least. So, just ah, oh, damn it! I keep thinking X is uh, not X. Escape is going to deselect it, but not quite. <laughs> um, there we go. I just want to select the planet, and then we'll get it to orbit around it. Wait a minute. Why is okay? What about that? No. I just want to orbit. Oh, okay, into orbit. Perfect. While we um, figure out how to get to where we need to go to. Alright, let's try that again. So, I. Hmm. What the hell did it just do? Can we. No, can we disable that? Oh. Okay, well, what the hell? It got us back here. So. There we go, we got that, and why didn't it select it as the hyperspace target? I don't definitely know. Um, in fact, I don't even see it in front of me. God damn it, they could have made this map a bit better, to say the least. Oh, it's probably an uninhabited system. Yep. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, I don't know why I was... Well, didn't exactly consider that. Okay, well there's a car set. Perfect. And that is actually uh, heading a bit of further away from uh, the Earth civilization as we know it, so there we go. Although it'll probably end up going back to Zephyr actually, but whatever. It's all good. Okay. Oops. There we go. And there's a planet right there, very nice indeed. Perfect. There's tanked on somewhere. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, it well. It's time to engage 80s 7... No, it's 7... No, 80s, yeah. 80s um, hyperspace module. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good old 80s. They've returned once again. Apparently we had to worry about the whole temperature as well. Wasn't that just dandy? Well, in any case, we have arrived. Uninhabited, but explored. Nothing else around us, we just got the hyperspace arrival cloud. A bit of initial um, lag from entering the system. Which I think is just due to it procedurally generating some stuff, I think. It should stop after a few seconds, hopefully. So I think we have to go to a car to see. It's a bit of a distance away. Oh, and by the way, this game has got U Newtonian physics as well, actually. Damn it, why is it still doing that fucking jerky bullshit? For fuck's sake. Anyway, whatever. Just selected that and lol, but perfect. Ah, there we go. Now it's good. Perfect. Gotta love these little nebulas that it does. Indeed. Too bad you can't fly in dust clouds or anything like that. Because it's not exactly realistic. I think I mentioned that in a previous video, actually. How you could do that in Freelancer. But anyway, I think we'll uh, use good old time compression. So yeah, now we're basically down to using conventional thrusters to get to our actual targets, because hyperspacing always, always drops us on the outskirts of a system, because why not, I guess. Even though we can hyperspace from anywhere within a system. Although you don't want to hyperspace too close to a, um, to a settlement, because they, uh, you get wanted for a fine and all that, which kind of sucks. But anyway, we have arrived, and there's a planet getting... It's terrain generated right in front of us. Perfect. In fact, I might even try to skim it a bit. Yep, there we go. So I haven't noticed any pirate activity. We're probably going to get something happening. Um, oh, still an autopilot. Okay. We'll probably get something happening as we're scanning the planet or something, I'm guessing. 
But you know what, screw it, I think we'll disengage the autopilot. And yeah, I think we'll actually see if we can skim the surface of the planet just for the hell of it. Where is that? Okay, that green thing I believe is a movement vector, so we just need to aim here. And we'll just increase speed a bit. Um, so I think 300 meters per second, that's Mach 1. So we'll go over, just over Mach 3, I think. I think that's how it works. Or is it 100 meters a second? I think it's 300 meters a second is uh, the speed of sound, roughly. So whatever, we'll do that, and I think we'll just accelerate time a bit as well, actually. There we go. Voyer in sight, we are celebrating. Oh, shit. So, okay, where's... Oh, that's the ship. Is he, is he going to be hostile? I don't know. He's gaining on us, though. Oh, dear. Deary me. Okay, let's just get manual control. We'll, uh... Got a fancy little shitty laser beam, so we can use that if need be. Oh, sure, no, never mind. He's, uh... Nope, he's actually retreating from us. I was just looking at the uh, distance indicator, and yeah, it is, uh, it is indeed increasing. So I guess we don't have to worry about him then. Well, there we go. That was a bizarre encounter. But you know what, fuck it. I still feel like um, scouting this planet a bit. It kind of looks similar to the planet I was already on, but... Ah, whatever. The terrain and all that should be... Well, it'll be different. It's because it's all generated um, procedurally. But anyway, except for certain, um, well, systems within a certain radius from Earth, basically the ones that we can observe ourselves in real life, uh, those ones, well, the stuff in those systems is actually based on, you know, real scientific data, but everything outside of that is purely um, uh, procedurally generated. And I'm pretty sure that some of this stuff here would be procedurally generated as well to an extent, just based on, you know, real scientific data from what we've... Um, actually observed. But anyway, enough of that. Let's see if we can actually skim the planet's surface. Maybe not at that speed, though. There we go. Perfect. So we can go with this. Come on, I'm trying to... Oh, good. We've completed that, but I still want to skim the damn surface. New destination. Yeah, whatever. Just I just want to skim this thing, for fuck's sake. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And we got a ship as well. What is this? KY... KY Jelly, maybe? I don't know. It's a Deneb, though. And it's heading straight for us. Heading right for us. Indeed. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Probably... Actually, let's just get this thing to manual control. Um, probably should set the hyperspace target, just in case I need to hyperspace in a hurry. So, where am I supposed to be going again? Powers in X... Fixin, X-Fixin, X-Fixin, no, it's... Oops, I did not mean to do that. Fixin... Ah, oh, shit, what was it? F-Fixin, okay. Locked. So... What the fuck? That's not X-Fixin. What the fuck is it doing? Just want to get the thing set to expect and for fucks. Yes, good. Great. Alright, and he's a scant few kilometers away now. Wait a minute, is he he's not actually gaining on us, is he? I don't think he is. Yeah, well, you know what, fuck it. Let's see if, we, if he'll actually engage, if he, engage us if we get close enough. KY. I don't... I don't know what faction it's meant to be a part of, but whatever. Uh, he's not shooting at us. Pretty sure he should be in range to do so. So what is he doing here, then? He's a... D I don't even know what a Denev is, actually. Oh, laser fire detected. I knew it. Shit. Now keep in mind the last time that I, when I actually engaged a ship, or I was actually engaged by a ship, um, I actually ended up dying incredibly quickly, so this is... yeah. <laughs> Damn it, I should have saved when I had the chance. Whoops. Hmm. Whoopsie long. Damn it. Yeah, I probably should have something a bit more suited for actual dogfighting. 
Yeah, which is funny because I do have a long range fighter, but I don't actually have. I mean, it's got a shitty laser cannon, doesn't have any shields or anything like that, so. Oh well, um. Whoops. And we didn't even skim the planet. Oh well, whatever. I'll just reload that. I think we'll do a different mission this time around. <laughs> oh dear, mate. Oh, at least we've got good music to enjoy. Alright, uh, the mission's actually going to be the same, I wonder. I don't. Yeah, I think there actually be a bit difference. Alright, well, whatever. Let's just. Um, just pick a random delivery, um, since we apparently don't really have a particularly good ship for absorbing fire, that's for sure. I think it was literally, literally like one or two shots and I was dead. Uh, brilliant. Just brilliant. Alright. Uh, can Beso. Sounds good. And that's going to be for 1,000 alpha fucks. So can we get something a little bit better? Uh, 2,000, that's not too bad. Explorer. No, actually, I think that might be it. Oh, no, no, it's a different system, actually. Could, we could pick another um, scouting mission, I suppose. 9,000. 10,000. You know what, fuck it, let's pick um, can you repeat the original quest? What is the risk? Okay, you know what, fuck it. Let's do this. It's going to be a different system at least, so we're going to be seeing uh, different sights and sounds. Let's accept that. Great. And yeah, we won't bother doing much sightseeing. I think we'll just scan and get the hell out of there. But anyway, so... Oh no, it's the same one. <laughs> I didn't even notice. The Akarsa system. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> Whoops. Now just request launch. <laughs> oh, outstanding. Apparently this city is the city of Tankton. Sounds tangy. Anyway, we'll just enter the orbit here. Perfect. And by the way, yeah, the terrain can be far more detailed than what we've got here. It's just that I think we're um, basically orbiting around a bit of a, a desert planet or desert rocky planet or something like that. So as you can see, we're not going to, going to get too much terrain variance. But um, whatever, we'll do that mission again and pff, fuck it. We'll see what happens. Anyway, how far away from that? Yep, pretty decent distance away. Just need to wait a bit more. I think we need to be about 3,000 kilometers before we hyperspace. Otherwise, they'll want to find us most likely. So while that's happening, let's have a look for... What was it? A car seat. Perfect. Can we lock that? Yes, good. Get rid of that automatic system bullshit. Perfect. There goes my sucker. Oh well. Okay, perfect. Okay, we should be a pretty decent distance away. Probably, yeah, we should be, yeah, perfect. <sighs> God, alright. Gauging 80s effect once again. Perfect. God, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> I think they could have gone with something a little bit better than that. That out was scrot. The game is open source after all, so I suppose if I really felt like it, I could, um, I suppose I could edit the code and, you know, make it look a bit better, but, you know, I can't really be bothered doing that. In either case, we've got pretty nebulous to stare at, sounds good. Let's get over to Akarsis C, I believe, which we probably should select. There we go. Low orbit. Here we go again, and this time, this time we won't flirt with danger too much. I suppose you could say we did we did see a bit of action after all, but it was um, painfully brief to say the least. Anyway, good old time compression, away we go. So it looks like a single star system, a whole bunch of planets around us. I suppose you might as well have a look at the um, stats while we're at it. Uh, let's see, F7, we're going towards Karasi C, so that's a massive, highly volcanic ice world. Okay, volcanoes and ice, eh? With hydrogen atmosphere. Actually, that wouldn't be... That doesn't sound like such a bad uh, planet to visit, now that I think of it. Well, should I try again to land on it in that case? Well, I suppose I could, actually. I mean, from a distance, it doesn't exactly look like much, but... What the hell? I mean, volcanic ice world, hydrogen atmosphere, that sounds pretty fancy. <sighs> Well, fuck it. There aren't any ships around, so... God help me, let's just do it again. 
Uh, let's say what. Just use that. Perfect. Okay, set speed. Perfect. There's a current movement vector. Okay, ooh light. I think I've heard of that, but um, I don't know. From what I could tell, I th it seemed that this particular game was a bit better than ooh light. But um, but what the hell? Actually, I might be persuaded to try ooh light as well. I'm pretty sure that that's a free and open source game as well. It's just that um, when I was comparing the two, yeah, ooh light. Well, it wasn't as preferable as um, as uh, Pioneer Scout Plus, which is a mod of um, Pioneer Space, Space Pioneer, Pioneer Space something, I can't remember. But what the hell, actually maybe Astrobe, if you could tell me, and I suppose whoever's watching this, um, a bit about Oolite, what the hell actually, I might actually try it at some point maybe, or, or at the very least we'll find out a bit more about another classic space game. But we'll see what happens. But yeah, a bit more information certainly wouldn't hurt, especially maybe a little comparison between the two games. That would definitely be um, pretty, uh, pretty dandy. But anyway, for the time being, let's see if we can actually explore this world. Voyer in sight. Great. Where is the ship? Just show me the fucking radar. Okay, never mind. Apparently the load's been cancelled. The ship is there. XM. Cobra. Oh, shit. Yeah, this thing... Okay, well, never mind. Its distance is increasing, so we should be alright. Yeah, I just want to. Oh shit, it's gaining on us. Okay, new destination, great. We need to. Ah, oh, okay, so. Well, sounds alright, I guess. I might check it out again, actually. Shit, it's gaining on us. We need to get to. Um, probably to the same place we were there before. Oh no, no, it's a different one. So, S L Y A with two A's. Perfect. Um. Ah, oh, fuck me. S and then two S's. S -A. Okay. Perfect. Um. Yep. S L Y A. Perfect. Holy shit, what the fuck is going on there? And that guy's still gaining on us. Yeah, Cobra Mark III, I know. I'm pretty sure that that guy is going to be very nasty if he ever manages to make it to us. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to leave the exploration of this planet. Jesus. We'll have to leave the, exp uh, the exploration for another time. Whoa. Did I? Oh, I think I actually did manage to get out of there. Oh, thank God. Yep, we're in independent space once again. Thank God for that. <sighs> God damn. Alright, so where do we need to go? Haley Orbiter. Local. Okay. Where the hell are we? We're somewhere in independent space. Now what the hell, let's just get over to wherever the hell it meant to be going. The Haley Orbiter, which is probably going to be one of these things. Yep, perfect. We'll just fly to the vicinity first. Perfect. Perfect. System. This system does seem to be a little bit um, populated, actually. Multiple space platforms and. Um, there we go. And also multiple uh, inhabited planets, I believe. There you go. Easy. Whoa. Okay. And we have arrived. Perfect. Yeah, we'll just dock. We'll enjoy that in real time, I suppose. Now, what the hell? It would be interesting to see how um, this game compares to Oolite. I might actually have another look at it, so to load the add-ons, so it looks nice. Okay. Well, I suppose maybe with the add-ons, it might be all right. So eh? just do you know. In any case, let's dock with this thing. Actually, yeah, they, we actually do have a bunch of different space stations as well for different systems. I'm pretty sure I've not seen a space station like this one before. Oh, there we go. Haley Orbiter, ladies and gentlemen. Let us dock. Sort of, yes. Just uh, get the front camera. Hmm. 
so what's happening? It's still docking apparently. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. So they're like different landing pads sort of within it. It's, yeah, that's weird. Well, there we go. In any case, we managed to do it actually. Welcome aboard. Can we get an exterior, exterior view? No, we cannot actually change that. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Well, they have it. We have arrived. Holy shit, the text trick. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, there you go. Let's um, see what's here, actually. Oh my god. Ralph Ray, the station manager. Incredible. Really? So, is that meant to be like a sword behind him? Antonia Bolton. The Samurai Police Warrior. Sounds about right. <laughs> but in any case, successful mission. Huzzah, we definitely need a bit more hydrogen. And fully laden, of course. Fully laden to the max. Oh. Well, I suppose there's nothing stopping the player from doing manual flights, but um, the thing is, it's kind of a bit tricky to work out orbits and such, and I'm pretty sure the um, the autopilot, it does take orbits um, into a, into account and all that, because we're using Newtonian f physics here, so, um, yeah. Uh, Ulites, there's no autopilot, apparently. Well, that's interesting, so, I mean, how do you handle going from, you know, one system to another, or for example, docking, or, you know, going from different uh, bodies in the same star system, I mean, do you have to work out the orbital patterns and all that yourself, I wonder. I don't know. Well, in any case, we've arrived. There's actually not that many missions, bizarrely enough. But there are actually a few ships that we can buy. Um, won't be able to buy anything for a bit of a while, though. So these apparently, the Eagle LRF, which is the one that I have now, is... Um... Okay, so... <coughs> this, one's... this one's a bit better. So this one's apparently the Scout class. <coughs> God damn. Ah, okay, 2001 style. Interesting. So I wonder how inter-system travel would be managed in that case. I don't know. Ah, well, there you go. In the case, we've got some hydrogen, we've got some money. Limited missions for some reason. But, um, there you go. Let's actually have a look to see what else we've got in the system to look at. So that's where we are. This is the uh, orbits that we have around here, so you can tell why it might be a bit tricky to calculate all of that. In your case, there's SLA. We're in SLA B. There's SLA A, SLA C. There's um. Okay. Well, there you go. Still though, w wouldn't mind an answer as to you know how inter-system travel is managed, or you know traveling within the system itself. But anyway, there we go. There are the orbits. What else do we have? So there's the massive sun, a red giant star actually. And what do we have here? We've got a few inhabited planets actually. So none of them are as heavy as Earth, or have as much mass as Earth, although one almost has as much mass and as much of a radius. So there we go. What do we have actually? Rocky planets of carbon dioxide, liquids of hydrogen, tiny rocky planet with no significant atmosphere. We have an orbital starport, because why not? So we've got some more space. So these two, I'm assuming, are actually orbiting around Rose Claim for some reason. And we've also got some gas giants as well, as well as some tiny rocky, rocky planets. What the hell, actually? Might have a look at some of these other planets while we're at it. So, Lancaster Colony, Ed Ewing's Claim. What the hell? If I could get, like, a, a delivery to one of these, I think I might actually take that. So, let's just have a look while we're at it. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. And I bet you there's going to be nothing for uh, inter... Or is that intra-system travel? I have to... Damn it, I should know that. But anyway. And your documents... Local recon, eh? Hmm. Alright, what the hell? Let's do a bit of local recon. In that case, why not? Hyperspace jumps. Oh, okay, so that's flying from... Uh, what's from one planet to another in the same system, then I'm assuming is what he's saying there. Okay, so you can... Okay, so that's inter-system. Right. Actually, no, 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 inter-system. That's going from one system to another. Which one is within the system? Intra, maybe? God, I think I must be getting really tired or something. I should know that. Ah, well, there you go. <sighs> Bit 
embarrassing, but what can you do? Whatever, let's just do some local recon. So, urgent local recon, and there's also more urgent, more urgent local recon. I'll take this one. So this is going to be scan of Rose Claim. Alright. Why not? Actually, wait a minute, isn't that meant to be... Oh, no, no, that's not actually, um... Yeah, it's not actually, uh... Think image -ingy. Not actually in inhabited. Alright, why not? So we can have a look at the planet at the very least, and get some money for it. Yeah. Except... Excellent. Yeah, and what about the other one, actually? What is that for? C1. Actually, let's just see if that is uh, anything particularly exciting to look at. C1. Eh, not really. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just get out of it. Indeed. And away we go. So it should be pretty, uh, should be pretty close to the planet. I mean, we should be orbiting it, in fact, so... There's apparently something here as well. What the fuck is this thing? SP tanker, eh? So I'm assuming it's going to be docking. Probably should... try to avoid him in that case. Let's see if we can get a nice little view of him, actually. One, one planet per system. Okay, Jesus. Oh, but that's bare bones, though, so I suppose mods will help that out as well. Well, there we go. Let's get a nice little view of this thing. Wait a minute, is this... SP tanker, that... Oh, there's no hyperdrive either. Wait a minute, this is a ship from... Homeworld, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, I think it's... Um, can't remember what ship it is, but I'm pretty sure it's a ship from Homeworld. Uh, either that or it's using incredibly similar um, texturing, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's from Homeworld, though. <laughs> In fact, it might actually be the battle cruiser, But here it says it's an SP tanker for some reason. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Vega Battlecruiser, and that's the Trinity Cannon or whatever at the front there. Interesting. Well, in any case, we're going in the wrong direction, so I think we'll select that and uh, enter low orbit. So, there you go. I think we'll ignore that for the time being. That's, there you go. Homeworld. Uh, did I say Battleship? Uh, I meant Battlecruiser. Can he actually dock with that? I don't think he can. I think he's just going to stay there. Maybe, I don't know. Can't dock with this thing, I don't think. Yeah, I think you can only dock with stations and such. And no, we actually are a bit far away from Rose Claim, it seems, so. We better just do good old time compression there. One planet per system, that kind of sucks. So I'm guessing that Oolite does not provide a um, a one to one representation of the uh, the galaxy in that case, because that's what, um, that's what this game does. It provides a one to one representation um, of the uh, the actual galaxy as we know it so as close you know as accurate as possible given the current scientific data but um are we actually scanning this yet i don't know rose claim yep we're there i don't know if we're actually scanning it though oh wait a minute status mapping so, I think we actually are mapping it right now. Perfect. And... Should I actually fly down there? Actually, what is on the planet again? Let's just have a look. Uh, mining colony. Plutocratic dictatorship. Sounds great. Entirely capitalist. No government welfare provision. Wow. Almost the direction that we might actually be heading in if the um, Trans-Pacific Partnership passes. Or the other one, the TTIT or TTIP, whatever it's called. Thankfully, we had a whistleblower, or maybe a few whistleblowers, blow the lid, at least to an extent, on what was happening there, because that was being secretly negotiated between various governments. But anyway, um, what is this thing? Roy's claim. No significant atmosphere, it's just a rocky planet. Bah. No, there you go. So yeah, spread the word, and... I mean, have a look at the Trans-Pacific Partnership yourself if you're wondering what the hell that means. The most important keyword to look at there, I think, is... Um, what is it called? The Investor-State Relations. Yeah, it's called something like that. It's a very... Um, it's an interesting um, agreement, because it basically means the erosion of uh, democracy and sovereignty of, nat of um, yeah, 
national sovereignty of uh, governments and such, and erosion of democracy as well, because it basically means if a government enacts various laws that interfere with a company's profits, then that company is free to sue the government. I think you can agree that that's a very um, anti-democratic, to say the least. But anyway, I'll save that for another time. I, I think I might actually skim this planet. Fuck it, why not? Since it's taking forever to scan. I mean, I could actually just accelerate time a bit more, but I'll oh, fuck it. Let's just skim this thing. We should have... Um, okay, there's a movement vector. Just... Uh, oh, whoops. That was good. Okay, we'll just tag at the middle of this thing and... Um, what the hell? Set it to about one kilometer a second. That should do the trick. What? Really? You've got to be kidding me. Uh, I'm not using the. Ah, oh, okay, there he is. Could be doing a better job with the radar there. Ah, oh, shit. Well, okay, he seems to be far away from us. I think we should be alright. Alright, well, let's continue trying to scan this planet then. Yeah, independent systems definitely do seem a little bit more um, dangerous. Oh shit, he's gaining on us. Shit, shit, shit. Well, thank god I did at least um, auto save when we um, docked and undocked from that space station. Thank god for that. Why is this thing still. Jesus, it's really taking its time to map it. Ah, shit. Well, I suppose we can just fly around and try not to um, to die, I guess. But then we have to somehow make it back as well without dying. Yep. Well, let's see if we can maybe avoid him. Well, who knows, maybe we can actually bait him into maybe crashing on the planet. Probably not, though. I don't think the AI is that bad, actually. But anyway. Oh, okay. Have to travel to the main station, parts of the way. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds... I don't know. It sounds interesting, I guess. It sounds a bit... So I'm guessing it's not meant to be accurate in terms of... Um, representing... Oh, shit. Representing the... Um, damn it. Thank God we got side thrusters and such. Shit, I think we better set this up as well. Um, uh, really? Okay, I think... Well, I just like the way that, you know, we actually are... Um, Shit. I just like the way that we, uh, you know, have solar systems being represented as accurately as possible in um, in games like, such as this one, really. So I definitely do like that aspect of it, actually, rather than just having one planet per system. So I don't know. Make of that what you will. I think it's just probably just a matter of um, taste, really. Shit, this is really going to be a pain in the ass. Should I try to return fire? I suppose I could, actually. It's just that I'm probably not going to hit him. Thank God for lead indicators, I don't think I'd hit him at all in that case. I think he's just trying to intercept me at this point. Let's just see if we can keep on going. We should still be mapping this at the very least. It's, uh, oh, shit. God, I can't believe they didn't one-shot me. So what is this, a Viper LZ? It's probably better... Yeah, mass 54 tons. Well, it's bigger than I am. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, so, yeah. I, I prefer... I don't know. Maybe I could give it a shot anyway. I mean, because... It's funny, I mean, I talk about accuracy, but I really enjoyed the hell out of um, Freelancer, to be honest. Oh, this thing's got dual cannons as well. Great. Anyway, I really enjoyed Freelancer, despite... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, despite the fact that... Um, you know, it was incredibly unrealistic. And yeah, down we go, of course. Ah, oh, dear me. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, Freelancer. It was. It did a good job portraying um, a sense of scale, um, despite the fact that... You know, despite the fact that it um, was kind of ridiculous in terms of how everything was on the same plane. The planets and everything were ridiculously small, as well as, as, well as the distances and all that. And of course, you know, having trade lanes and all that, but... Um, yeah, what the hell, actually? I might actually give Ulight a, a shot at some point, maybe. Um, I haven't got so much time and all that, but... Um, well, what the hell, actually? I might give it a shot. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I just I really do like the accuracy in Pioneer Scout Plus, though, that's for sure. Anyway, whatever. So we'll go with docked, actually. So we don't actually have that mission except already. So last docked. God, I can't believe it. That was a local mission, even, and I still... <laughs> I don't believe it. I still um, got targeted by someone or other. Yeah, not bad. There we go. So we shouldn't have a... Yep, don't have any more missions there. Perfect. Wow. That was ridiculous. And especially for only like $300. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, anyway, get some more hydrogen. We could, probably could do with a better ship, actually. In fact, I think I might have... Oh, okay. I think I might have overdone it a bit when it comes to um, it, the components that are put on it. Because um, a Class 2 hyperdrive compare that to the to this class one it's more than twice the tonnage which means well there's six less tons that I can use for say you know a pulse cannon for example or something else yeah well actually what can this ship even support probably not much actually let's have a look so has t missile mounts for two can't support a fuel, sco fuel scoop or a cargo scoop it doesn't have atmospheric shielding can't get extra passenger cabins, no crew vacancies. Front weapon, we can have a pulse cannon, but I'm pretty sure we tried to install another pulse cannon on it before and didn't, um, or just didn't do anything, so, uh, yeah, or rather, it said it couldn't install it for whatever reason, so there you go, don't have any uh, missiles there. We've got that stuff as well, so no shields or anything like that. I don't think we can install shields on it anyway. Let's see. the fuck is it doing? Fucking... Ugh, anyway. Jittering a bit there. <laughs> of course, I'm going to say it's fully laddered. Yeah, what the hell? Just for the hell of it, sell one of these hydrogens. I'm pretty sure we cannot put an extra thingy on there. Let's see. Ship is fully equipped, apparently. We can put in missile launchers, but then we have to put in actual missiles and such, so, meh. Although. So, wait a minute. This guided missile, will that actually give us multiple missiles, or will that um, only put the missile launcher in? I'm pretty sure it only gives us the missile launcher, and then we have to install the missiles manually, I think. I might have to check that, actually. Because I tried firing missiles before, and it didn't do anything, although that might actually be because I didn't have like a uh, ship targeted, so maybe it just didn't fire the missiles as a result, now that I think of it. Uh, I should have thought of that, actually. Hmm. Well, what else do we have? We can get an extra passenger cabin. Yeah, not supported, of course. So, so much for um, transporting extra people. Hmm. Yeah, not supported, of course. Oh, we can actually get an analyzer. Whoops, long. I didn't realize that we can actually, actually do that. And eight, all right, so we can get that. Okay, just forget that. Uh, let's see, blah, blah, blah. And presumably a few missiles as well. Hmm. I suppose I could try installing a missile launch and see what happens. Uh, I think I'll reload the game, actually, because we just wasted money rather needlessly. Um, okay, we have to exit it, apparently, before we can load it. So it last it docked. I think we'll give that a shot. So it'll mean one less ton of... Fuel, but I think we should be alright. I think it should make too much of a difference, hopefully. Whoops, just uh, hang on a sec. Unpaused. Perfect, okay. See, so, yeah, I think we'll do that actually. Hmm. Don't think we'll bother. Actually, can we even get ACM systems? Oh, we can! Okay. Well, I don't think we've actually engaged anyone who uses missiles, so. Whoops. <laughs> just exit that. Yeah, good old trial and error. Perfect. <laughs> alright, I think we should be alright now. So we'll just get a missile launcher and let's see. So a guided missile, naval missile, and smart missile. I'm pretty sure the naval missile is like really. Um, Oh, we've got rockets as well. 
God, I don't think so. So naval missiles, I'm pretty sure, is really powerful. I think it might be a bit overkill, actually. So I think we'll just go with a smart missile. Got plenty of cash in any case, but yeah, we'll just go with a smart missile and everything else will just load up with uh, fuel. And what the hell, hopefully it'll be enough to engage one ship, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> kind of wish it would give us more information, but, um, oh well. What can you do? Load up with hydrogen, perfect. And we've got a missile back again, because why not? Okay, I guess that's as good as it's going to get, really. I suppose, actually, oh, actually, I could swap out this shitty one megawatt pulse cannon for the two megawatts. But, oh, fuck it. We'll see if we can hopefully depend on the missiles. And wait a minute, is that the same guy that was it? Uh, yeah, I think it is, actually, yeah. Ralph Ray, maybe. Yeah, it should be. It should be the same guy that we had before. There, we've got a few more missions, but... Um, I think we've done enough screwing around. I think we'll just save this. Perfect. Make it to Mando. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it definitely went a bit... Oh, we actually ran out of music as well, actually, because it went a bit longer than I was um, intending for it to go. But uh, there we go, had a bit of fun. We um, battled a couple of different ships that just blew us out of the water pretty damn easily, but, oh well. Hopefully now the single missile or missile launcher or whatever, hopefully it's going to make some difference. But there you have it for future people. I shall see you all next time.